welcome to this video on scoring. This applies to both equations and onsets because the scoring for both games is exactly the same. Scoring might be unfamiliar to you if you're starting to play academic games and you're new, but you'll learn as you play more. Um, scoring is something that you learn with experience as you go along. So this video will tell you about scoring in these games. So let's start off with two player games, which is easier. If the challenger who calls either now or impossible by picking up the flood cube is correct, they get six points. And that means the mover is incorrect and they get two. And if the challenger is incorrect in a now or impossible challenge, then they get two and the mover gets six. So it's very simple. If you're correct and you win, you get six. And if you're wrong, you get two. And we'll discuss last cube procedure in a little bit later. So hold off on that for now. So in regards to three player games, there are three simple rules to scoring a three person game. So if you as a challenger remover are correct, you get six points. If you are incorrect, you get two points. And if you are a third party who is correct, you get four points and if you're incorrect, you get two. So if you're a challenger remover, if you're right, you get six. If you're wrong, you get two. And third parties only get four if they're right. So it's very, very simple, three rules. However, there are some exceptions to rule three and we'll discuss that here. If a third party sides with the correct mover, meaning somebody who got challenged on, or an incorrect challenger, meaning the challenger is incorrect, but you're still right as a third party, six points are awarded, not four. Just remember, if you're new, you'll get used to this, and you'll learn how this works with experience. So I made these charts that lay out every single possibility of what could happen in a now challenge with three people. So for example, up here, if the challenger is correct in a now challenge, that means the mover is incorrect. And if the third party joins with the challenger and the third party is correct, then this is how many points each party gets. Remember, the challenger is correct, so they get six. The mover is wrong because the challenger had a correct solution, so the mover gets two. And then the third party, gets four whenever they're right. So remember those three simple rules and most of the time they work fine. I encourage you to take a screenshot of this screen just so you know or have it handy if you're playing. You don't have to memorize this because if you ever have trouble in scoring, you can always ask a judge. I just did this just so you guys can see all of the possibilities in the now challenge. And this is for an impossible challenge. You can also take a screenshot of this, but they're pretty similar. So when you're scoring last cube procedure, the protocol is very simple. Correct solutions get four points, incorrect solutions get two points, that's it. There's no six points, it's just four and two. If you're right, you get four, if you're incorrect, you get two. So if everybody is correct, everybody gets four. If everybody has a wrong solution in the last cube procedure, they all get two. So after the game is over, what happens? What if you've played a certain number of shakes and you have given people some points. So what do you do at the end? So first you're gonna add up everybody's points. So if we look at this example here, they played three shakes, you gotta add up the points. So total points, it says there, 10, six, and 16. The person with the most points gets six team or total points. So these points are different than the other ones that you had in the shake. These are the match points. So the person who got first place, the most points, is gonna get six here. So you circle the six down here. Second place gets four points. So the 10 is behind 16 there. So this person gets four. And then third place gets two. And there is two there, this person only got six. In, in a two player shake, first place is gonna get six points. Second place is gonna get four points. Nobody's gonna get two points. If two people tied for first, meaning they had the same number of points and they were tied for first, they each get five. And if you're tied for second, each person gets three points. And if there's a three-way tie, meaning everybody has the same exact score, then everybody gets four points. If there's a tie in a two-player match, they both get five points. And remember, this whole protocol happens at the end of a match, not at the end of a shake. As you can see, they played three shakes and once time was up, they calculated their final scores. So we have some drills here. The first one is to determine how many points each player gets in this shake. So this is a shake, not the entire match. So we have Mario, Peach, and Bowser. So take some time to answer these questions. 
And remember the three simple rules. If you're correct as a challenger or remover, you get six. If you're incorrect, you get two. And if you're correct as a third party, you only get four. So take some time to answer these questions. Pause the video if you need to. So let's start to go over the answers. You can still pause the video if you need more time, but I'm gonna start going over. For question one, Mario challenges now on Bowser. So Mario is the challenger and Bowser is the mover. Peach is a third party and she sides with Mario. Mario and Peach have correct solutions. So this is a now challenge. Mario gets six because he's right. Remember, Peach gets four because she's the third party and she's correct. And Bowser gets two because he's the mover and he's wrong. So we get two. For question two, Peach challenges impossible on Bowser. Mario sides with Bowser. Bowser's solution is correct, but Mario's is incorrect. So since Bowser's solution is right and he's the mover, he gets six. Peach is wrong because Bowser had a right solution. And Mario's solution was wrong, so he's also incorrect. So Bowser gets six and Mario and Peach get two. And the third question is the last cube procedure. In last cube procedure, Mario presents a correct solution, but Peach presents an incorrect one. So Mario gets four, not six, because it's the last cube procedure, and Peach only gets two. So these were some practice questions for you guys. Here is a second drill. Add up the points and determine each player's score. These are two separate questions. They're two separate score sheets. This is question one, this is question two. You're gonna add up the total points here, and then you're gonna give each person a team score. So if you guys remember here, you got to circle six, five, four, three, or two for the team score. So take some time and fill in the blanks. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, so let's start off with question one. Mace Windu's final score. Let's add six, four, two, and six. So that would be 18. This person, General Grievous, he has 16, and then Django Fett has 10. So the person with the most points, they even give you a key here at the bottom. So remember, you don't have to like memorize this because you can always ask a judge, but they give you a key here just to do this. So first alone gets six, okay. Mace Windu got six. So second place, General Grievous, he gets four. And then third place gets two. Pretty simple. Now let's try this other problem here. If we add up the points, there's 14 for Darth Sidious, 16 for Luke Skywalker, and 14 for Darth Vader. So for this situation, Luke Skywalker is gonna get six points, but then Darth Vader and Darth Sidious are tied for second, so they're gonna get three. Remember, very important, if you have a question about scoring, you can ask a judge. You can call a judge to help you in a game. Because if you've played a shake and you've won fairly and you don't know how to do the points or you forgot, you can ask a judge, it's okay. So this was a quick video on scoring. Remember those tables I had on now and impossible, you can use those to help you learn if you're playing a shake and you're not sure what to do. You can just plug in to those charts and find what score each person gets. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be the first to receive new content. Like the video if you learned something new and you're excited to play. And the video request email is down here like usual. I'll be reading and checking for those. Until next time, see you later.